All right, we're going to talk about finding the solutions to an equation. Specifically, we're going to focus on checking if a given point is a solution to an equation, but this kind of leads us into a big topic throughout all of college algebra trig about solving equations. So first thing to consider, solutions to an equation, there can be an infinite amount of solutions, there could be no solution, or there can be any amount in between. So one, two, three, four, five, any amount in between for how many solutions there are. The solution to an equation is going to be written in a point x comma y, and it's a point that makes the equation true, that when you put in a certain value for x, you get back a certain value for y, and vice versa. So thinking about the graph, okay, a graph, parabola, a line, a cubic, whatever it might be, is a picture representing all of the solution points to a given equation. Now, if you think about something having an infinite number of solutions, right, you cannot list out all of them. It would literally take you forever. So we can write just infinite solutions, and we put the infinity sign instead of listing them out. Other times we will be searching to find you know, two or three or four very specific points that are solutions to a given equation. So this should be kind of a review from a second year algebra course. Use two different methods to show that the point two zero is a solution of the equation y equals x squared minus three x plus two. Now this question could also be phrased a little bit differently and that is, is the point two zero a solution of this equation? So I want you to think for a little bit, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. I'm going to have you try on your own to show two different methods, it's okay if they're kind of similar, to try to show that the point two zero is in fact a solution of this equation written right here. So you're going to pause your video, unpause it when you are ready to check your answers or if you have questions about things and you can hopefully listen to my explanation. Also keep in mind that whenever you're watching the videos, if you have questions, make sure you send an email to me or post in the discussion group something to help yourself out. But for right now, pause your video, go ahead and try to show two different methods to show that the point two zero is a solution of the equation. Alright, so I've got two methods shown on the screen right now. I tried to do a little bit of color coding for you. So I highlighted that this x value, right, this is a point x, y. This 2 represents our x value in red, and this 0 represents our y value in green. So here's a y, here's an x, here's an x, all right? So the first method is to plug in your y value. I plugged in 0 for my y, and then I went through and I solved the equation. Well, this is a quadratic, it factors very nicely, set each factor equal to 0 because of the 0 product property. So x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 1. Well, that's one of our solutions, x is equal to 2, it matches this value right here. So we just showed that the point two zero is a solution. The next one is really similar, except instead of substituting in the zero for the y value, I instead, everywhere I saw an x, I replaced it with our x value of two. Went through, simplified, order of operations, right, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, got down that y was equal to zero. And that in fact is part of our solution point, and that's what we wanted to happen. So we just showed that the point two comma zero is a solution. Now the next one kind of combines those two concepts. Anytime you have an equation, people think that it is guaranteed to be true, right? That means that there's a balance, what you do to the left, you do to the right. Yes, I agree with all of that, but it's also a question of equality. We're saying what makes these things balance, right, when we have variables. So we're going to check and see if I put in 0 for y and 2 for x, right, the point 2, 0, does that come out to be something that is a true statement? And yes, you get zero is equal to zero, and that's true. So the point two zero is a solution. The last way is to use a graph. You can either graph by hand or with your graphing calculator. We're gonna do some of that in the next video and definitely throughout the course. So you'll get more comfortable with using your graphing calculator. For now, I'm not gonna show it to you. I just want you to know that that is an option to verify solutions to an equation. All right, so again, those are the different ways. If you came up with a different way, please take the time to share with the class tomorrow and make sure that you, you know, explain to others and show them what you did and we'll check to make sure that everything was good.